Hey, 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 guys. It's your boy, Mr. Luke Evan Brooks again with Miss Rose. Coming, she's coming from the Philippines. I'm up in Bahrain. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to talk to you. We're doing a, uh, a, a group talk about this, about money on Passive Income Central. Now, if this is your first time going to our my show here because she has a show too and she's going to tell you her show at the end go ahead and subscribe because we're about to do something very different it's going to be very uplifting it's going to be very eye-opening and it's going to teach you how to not get yourself in a situation where some people are doing and we're going to teach you how to get passive income we are her end does pass and my end does pass so we're going to talk about this so we're going to get going as you see the article that's a vander holyfield you know, this guy was a, a heavyweight back in the day, right? He was the one who go against Mike Tyson. Everyone knows who Mike Tyson is. And this guy knows how to do things, right? This is the same guy who got his ear bit, as Rose say. <laughs> that did happen. So uh, the article is straightforward, and we're going to talk about it. So right here, let me get my mic. Right here, Evander Holyfield is bankrupt. And he's bankrupt, but refused to sell the greatest asset to pay off his debts. He once had over $250 million. Now, the thing that he won't give up is his vehicle. He has a Cadillac Escalade that's valued about $150,000. Right now, a vendor Holyfield is only worth $500,000. That's sad. And he has some things going on in his life. Of course, it says several business failures. Events in his personal life have not helped him. He has 11 kids by six different women. I'm going to say that again. 11 kids by six different women. Uh, one of them, they say here, is following their father's footsteps, but he's not a vendor Holyfield. He's not winning. He's not seeing the same success. And we'll play a little clip here to see what's going on. Let's see what it shows. This is our first time seeing this, and this is the first time reaction. So, guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. We're about to kick it off right now. Now he's wanted to beat him so bad. See? Vendor Holyfield's the one jumping, if you didn't know. Yeah, Mike <laughs> here. Oh, my what, <laughs> yeah, that's what Rose said. Hey, he bit him. I was like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, that's yeah. a remarkable. Yeah, and it's it's kind of funny though, Rose, that uh, yeah. Mike yeah go through any any issues like a Vander. It's kind of weird, like they so yeah. how times change people. Uh, mm -hmm. but we're here to talk about a Vander, and I'm gonna give you a Vander, guys. So let's go ahead and jump to the new. Uh, video here. Yes. Let's go. Hey guys, this is your boy, Mr. Luke Evan Brooks. I jumped right into this video at this segment where we're about to show because I got flagged by YouTube in regards to copyright infringement. So you won't get to see the video, but you will get to hear the audio. So please bear in mind. Go to this one right here. Tell me a little bit more about your house. Uh, my house was 54,000 square feet. I paid for it in cash. You paid for it in cash? Yeah, I paid How for much it. was that? Uh, it would cost me 20 million. 20 million. Evander spent a big chunk of his fortune building this massive home. But by the time he moved in, his finances were so compromised, he couldn't even afford the upkeep. Wow. Cool. The bowling alley, Ooh. air conditioning. Electricity, phone bills. It takes about a million dollars a year to maintain this house. Now that's a lot of money. Champ, what are some of the things you're doing today for income? A uh, person appearance. Any idea ballpark how much you're bringing in? Twenty thousand. What else? I need to kind of sometimes uh, promote fights. I'm a promoter, boxing promoter. And What's that company called? A uh, real deal promotion. They caught the person who was doing all these bad things. They put him out. Was they someone taking money? Well, you know, that's, 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 that's what usually happens. Mm. Now they relaunch and we got new people. So we're trying to get it back right. When you don't have other body looking out for you, everybody taking something for themselves. Man, everybody's just stealing, man. They're just stealing, stealing. Seems like you trusted the wrong people. Well, yeah. 
This oh. is how I have done things. Bottom line is, if he had the right team around him, he would have never lost his fortune. First thing I need to do is figure out what projects he's currently involved with. Next, I want to help build the Holyfield brand so it resonates with consumers. Then the band will be able to develop product that will fit under that umbrella. I also want to make sure that he has the right team. Around okay, so, so going forward, he they pretty much said it all. Yeah, he got yes. around the wrong people, as we talked about the other thing. Yeah. People did bad investments on him. <sighs> It looks like he's on a TV show, but we're not going to go all the way into this TV show right here. I got one more video for y'all, and we're going to talk about everything. It's going to probably reiterate what was mentioned, but we're going to go ahead and play it, and then we're going to go ahead and comment on it. Okay, we're going to pause that. We're going to get that up going forward. 19th, 1962. He's an American former professional boxer who competed from 1984 to 2011. He began boxing at an early age, winning a boys' boxing tournament at the age of seven. At the age of 13, he qualified for the Junior Olympics and became the Southeastern Regional Champion at 15. After representing the U.S. in the Pan American Games in 1983, at the age of 20, he went on to fight in the Summer Olympics in Los Angeles the following year, winning a bronze medal. He turned professional at age 21. Evander Holyfield has fought at the heavyweight, cruiserweight, and light heavyweight divisions. He was also an undisputed champion in both heavyweight and cruiserweight divisions. As of this recording, Evander Holyfield has an estimated net worth of $1 million. Unfortunately, like several prominent boxers, Evander has experienced severe financial problems despite earning hundreds of millions of dollars during his career. Evander earned around $220 million during his career. In 2008, he lost his longtime home to foreclosure. He was forced to sell off most of his assets to pay down various debts. But before we let you know how he lost his fortune, here's how he made his millions. Apart from making money in the ring, Evander Holyfield founded Real Deal Records, which signed the one-time success group Exhale, among other groups. Holyfield was already a household name by 1992, as he endorsed tons of products and commercials for Coca-Cola and Diet Coke. Holyfield is also featured in a video game for Sega Genesis, Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Boxing. He's among a number of celebrities to do ads for the restaurant chain Zaxby's. Holyfield carried the Olympic torch in 1996 when it was on its way to his hometown of Atlanta, the host for that year's games. In 2007, Holyfield released a line of cooking products, the Real Deal Grill via infomercials. Holyfield has made numerous television appearances over the years, his first being a cameo on the Christmas special of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in 1990. He also made an appearance in three movies during the 90s, Summer of Sam, Necessary Roughness, and Blood Savage, which he also produced. He made a cameo appearance in Nickelodeon's Guts in 1994, and then in 2005, Holyfield appeared on Dancing with the Stars. He and his partner, Editus Lewinska, came in fifth place. In January 2014, Holyfield became the first housemate on the UK Celebrity Big Brother to get voted out after making derogatory remarks about a homosexual roommate. In May 2016, Holyfield was featured on the Argentine reality dance show Bailando. And now let's get down to how he lost his fortune. Just like Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield somehow managed to blow through a fortune that at one time peaked above $200 million. Now they say Mike Tyson, right? So this video is 2021. But what Mike, Mike got his money back. I mean, he did the things. Yes, he lost his money. You know, he got in trouble and things like that. But he made his money. He's still making money. And we're talk about him, since they keep talking about we'll talk about him on another uh, episode to see what Mike did. But we're going to focus on him. So we're going to stop the video here and there. And we're just going to keep letting it flow as far as getting this conversation going. During his career, Holyfield earned an estimated $220 million in prize money alone. Unfortunately, all that money was gone by 2008 when his 109-room Atlanta mansion was lost. Okay, I'm going to stop this right now. As you see, they just say 109-room mansion. Wow. What's your thoughts on that, Rose? It's very luxurious life, like a king. 
Yeah, what that's what happened? I think. I think he's the king. <laughs> yeah, seem like a Michael Jackson. But now, you know, um, his life is God giving uh, opportunity, his skills to use. So, uh, of course, the life, what he, uh, what he living for. Every human being wanted to be like what he have. Yeah, but unfortunately, the handling money, the wrong people you trusted. That's the people that will get you, putting you down. Everything will lost. Trusted people, hmm, you know? Yeah. Uh, 11 children and six different women. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So I'm still trying to figure out who's living in a 109-room mansion. Wow. I rooms. That's a lot of rooms. Yeah, it's so big. But I see like this is uh same like a king. I saw uh it's very big and of course being you know the maintenance <laughs> uh, you know the maintenance everything that you need to con um uh, everyday uh, bills I know it's very big electricity and everything maids rooms people eat and you know it's, it's um expensive. But the sustainable, the question is the sustainable, how you keep your money to make every day sustainable. What we you have. That's crazy. Because, yeah. But if you, uh, you don't handle it, you, you see, he's commercial, he's sponsoring. Wow. A lot of big, uh, you know, commercial, he is... Um, uh, 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 he had also a business, diba? It's big, uh, of course, he's earning everything that he wanted to go. People will like what he wanted to wearing, eating. People like it because he's famous. He's famous also here in the Philippines that time, but I'm not too much well watching the boxing because, you know, in my country, I'm so proud. Manny Pacquiao, <laughs> our... Yeah. Our um, favorite because, of course, uh, the uh, Holy, uh, Holy Pid is American. No? Yes, he is. He's, yeah. So, of course, so he's a heavyweight, all the levels. He He's become the champion. So, wow, it's very break record. And he is re um, retired age of 50. May I write? Yep. Yeah, he, he yeah. boxed a little bit too long. So when boxers yeah, are doing that, long. right, like with the exception of Mayweather, right? Mayweather played it smart, right? You know, yes. he didn't let himself get hit in the head too much, right? And people pick him, I'm talking about, you don't know how to read, but he knows how to count. I would say that, like, he, he knew how to promote stuff because he learned early on, you got to be able to promote yourself because I think he got taken advantage of when it came down to his actual, you know, going to these fights and stuff. That happened to Muhammad Ali as well, too. You know, Muhammad Ali didn't want to go out there and fight again. It came down to money because when Muhammad Ali was uh, was banned from, uh, from boxing, right, because he refused to go into the draft for Vietnam, they sent him back for three years. So he was making his money. That was his only source of making money. So... You starve him out for three years, you know he's gonna go out there in front and say, Hey man, we don't know if you should keep fighting. And he kept on fighting because these promoters are doing things like this. So with Evander, he did have the advantage to promote himself. Now he's doing it now after the fact, but like it's the certain things that he didn't get around the right people, like they say, and he said too. He didn't get around the right people when it came down yeah. to finance. Because if anything, someone would have yes. should have stepped in and said, "Hey, you shouldn't get that type of match." I mean, they start. We could get a big house, mm -hmm. but do you really need a hundred and nine rooms? Like, who is staying in there? Is this going to be an Airbnb? <laughs> is this me. a hotel? <laughs> oh my god! I apply maid. Yeah, we stay in a home. Yeah, it's too much. No, too much. Um. Yeah. Um, uh, very uh, what do you call this? Very, it's not a type of a uh, person that you, you need to a lot of 
rooms and every day you need to see every each of the room to check or what i don't know maybe he's very have a lot of friendship drinking uh, you know uh, inviting he is a popular so maybe a lot of people coming in his house so everything is free so like that so you know life is um a vehicle like a uh, <laughs> because uh, it, when you're the season in the tough, everything people will like you, they with you, they telling you a nice everything. But when you lose everything, people did you see who is the true person and stay with you till last. If you have yeah. no money, no people will love you. If you have money, people will love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's because crazy. people only yes that's true it's uh, it's uh you know the people always uh, wanted to get anything to make them uh uh to make them uh of course a, a earning for those people like a famous like Manny Pacquiao example may Man, Manny Pacquiao here in the Philippines he's going to the provinces and giving a lot of money for free yeah and then he go every yeah he give money 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 wins. that's why he called money it's me money money back now so i hope he is not like what happened to holyfield i i i pray he's not what happened to his life okay let's continue on foster foreclosure the mansion was fifty four thousand square feet on 234 acres the house cost more than a million dollars a year to maintain after being foreclosed, the house sold at public auction for $7.5 million. Unfortunately, Evander owed a bank more than twice that amount for the house's mortgage. As of January 2013, he also owed several hundred thousand dollars in back taxes to the IRS. Damn. Most of Holyfield's prized possessions have been sold at auction over the years to cover a number of debts and obligations, including his Olympic bronze medal, 20 pairs of fight gloves, championship rings, belts, and 25 match robes and shorts. Today, it's reported that Evander Holyfield earns around $1.1 million a year from personal appearances recovering from his debts and back taxes owed. From a fortune of over $200 million to an income slightly less than $1.1 million a year, from cruiserweight to heavyweight with 29 knockouts to boot. And let's not forget the night that Mike Tyson decided to bite. Seems like everyone will keep bringing that up. Out of not one, Evander <laughs> Holyfield saw it all in his career. And while he may have had his ups and downs financially, he's still known as the real deal in the ring. Thanks for watching this video. Okay. So, I mean, to be honest with you, man, or uh, with, with you, Rose, I think with Evander Holyfield, I think what he should do he, they tell me he's making because it, it keeps jumping back and forth. The article today say five hundred thousand dollars, but then I don't know if they're accounting for. Hey, this is what his gross is because he still owes the taxes. When you owe the IRS in the United States, they don't play. So, what's your thoughts? I know um, living in America is very expensive because the tax. Everything where you're going, always tax, tax, tax. I know it's very strict in the tax. And then, you know, the word is, if you want to have a happy life and successful life, you have a good wife. Do you know the words that? <laughs> yeah, because that. if you have a good wife, wife will lead you the right way. Okay? Man successful in his era because the successful because his wife it's true exactly you see it's not painful there's a lot of uh women <laughs> embraces to him and of course all those women maybe no nobody will they love him but not willing to make him success in his life exactly yeah, it's so sad yeah, so I think with this lesson learned, guys, just to understand with a vendor, holy field, I think if you grew up with nothing, right, and you didn't have the financial literacy, when I say grow up with nothing, I'm not saying 
you didn't have any money. I mean, you didn't grow up with understanding what money is, right? Money is very critical. Money can change your life, but money can also be a detrimental, detrimental, or I would say, I can't pronounce it right. It can, it can make your situation worse. And let's look at some of the factors. Those ladies, nothing wrong with having a lady, right? But if you having all those kids, <laughs> Need. That's one yeah. thing. That mansion, I mean, twenty million dollars in there. You gotta, you only can sell it for seven million. You want me to tell you who bought it? Rick Ross bought that mansion. That mansion yeah. is the same mansion. I think that's on Coming to America Part Two. If anyone yeah. knows about that, so it is what it is. But I, I hope, like you say, I hope that he got himself situated. Uh, I think what he tried to do, honestly, with the grills and stuff, he tried to follow George Foreman. George Foreman's another great boxer. He came back after leaving the ring for so many years. He won a heavyweight championship at the age of 40. 40, 42, he won it again. And he had all those commercials, George Foreman grills, all those things. Take a bite out of, you know, how the burgers and draining all the grease and stuff. And mm. I think he figured he could probably do the same thing. You got to do something that you can do well and something that's not going to be saturated because everyone has something going on. I mean, I'm surprised, honestly, if I had his money, I, I know I'm playing Monday night quarterback or Tuesday night quarterback or whatever. I'm surprised mm. that Holyfield didn't try to open up a franchise for boxing rings, like, like a gym mm. to teach young mm. boxers how to fight. To open up just like we talked about the yes. one our particular franchise. Mm. You could probably let something like that and then really have a cream of the crop as a promoter because if he owns the facilities, people are gonna tell him, hey man, we we got good boxes here. Let me see. Maybe we can promote them. But it is what it is, guys. So closing out, final thoughts, yeah. Miss Rose. Yeah, um, you know, uh, the important is mentor everyone each of our life you know even the president he is have a advisor and mentor it's very important why because how did you define your life and you going through if you didn't asking or someone people that they know what happened if they did this one and did what is advantages and disadvantages we need to have a mentor, yeah, mentor or any person that you trusted, even in, you know, the the spiritual advice, because he's the he's doing what he wanted to do, and people, I think, around him always telling, oh, do like this is better for you, but he doesn't know. They informing him not for his good. Now look at him, what happened to his life. You see. Only he sub 500, you know, what happened to his life. Everything will lost. And what happened to the children? I don't know if the children will love him or oh, they take be care together. Of him. Oh, I they take know. care. I bet you. I mean, yes. look, he had 11 kids, six women. They take mm -hmm. care of him. Yeah. So how about how about the responsibility? So now he's, he's already four and now he's already old. So how how come the financial that he wants to uh to earn and back uh, uh, the life that he already there but that life is a lesson learned for our uh, people looking to him his life so yeah. I hope that uh his life now I I see he's he's not uh, injured because because if you are boxer sometimes you have uh injured. Or, or mental problem or anything physically problem because of the impact being boxing is not easy because also Manny Pacquiao is already have illness because the effect of every every time he is fighting he's always um practice he always gym so it's not easy I know his life is not easy to become what he do he is famous boxer he is already a name he's a legend it's called legend, but we lesson for his life, his career, 
is everything will be lost if without God. I see he's not close to God. That's my thought. All right, then. So we're going to wrap it up. She said it the best. Rose, let people know how they can go to your channel. Yes. Hi, everyone. So um, don't forget to um, come to my channel, Rose Jean L. Martinez. There are no online marketing blogs. Um, my channel is all about um, online marketing, anything business that I can share in the Filipino um, version and, of course, subtitle English. And uh, another subtitle, I do it for Arabic. So, assalamualaikum alaikum But um, don't forget to look at back my channel. A lot of things that I can teach you uh, about uh, my lifestyle, my life, what I'm doing, being a simple, but simple and happy uh, by the presence of God. And you can come with my channel also. All right, guys, she laid it out there again. If you like this, you like the content that we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. This is where you come to, where we give you the news. We talk about passive income. We talk about lessons learned, and we just keep you educated, guys. So till then, we see you next time. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. Stay focused on your goals. Till then, guys.